we go. Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Finley, how are you doing? Sir Suri, Archer. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good, I hope. It snowed for the first time here. Hey. Uh, hello. Good to see you. Yeah, we had a, a little touch of snow this morning. I'm not excited about it. How are you? Oof. I have a little bit of anxiety, but um, it seems to be manageable. Maybe if I talk long enough, I'll get it out, you know. Um, that's usually what seems to help sometimes, is uh, <laughs> talking about these things. Yeah, just breathe through it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, something happened yesterday, so I'm not going to go into detail what happened, but uh it sort of put me into a bit of an anxious state. Weed? No, I don't do weed. Um Ben's diopenes are the are the best thing for anxiety. The only trouble with them is that the uh, there's a propensity to get addicted to them if they're overused but uh, there's there's no medication to date that cures anxiety as as, as much as Ben's, Ben's diopenes oh thank you Liv Vivian I appreciate that yeah yeah I appreciate that so it snowed a little bit this morning, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, I was supposed to cut the grass before it snowed. Daily meditation and breathing. Sadie, it's good to see you. Yeah, I should really try that, um, especially the daily meditation part. I've got my brand new te treadmill downstairs, and it's a super awesome treadmill, so I can't wait to go on it. Um, so the good thing about the treadmill is I'll be able to go for long walks or runs if I want to in the middle of winter time. Coloring in during relaxing too. Yeah, that can be relaxing, yeah. Have a nice, uh, quiet hobby or something like that. Only have to go to it five minutes oh uh, so you only have to meditate for about five minutes for it to be effective eh yeah the only meditation I've ever learned uh, was from a Buddhist mentor I once had and um, and those meditations were were purely uh, um, focused on the idea of breathing so during those meditations we, we, we would sit and, and, and we just focus on our breathing and and not think about anything else, just our breathing. And it's a great meditation because uh, you 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 correct your breathing and also because you're also paying attention to your breathing, your breathing becomes that much more effective and it gives you something to focus on and it's easier to uh, let go of all those like other thoughts and everything. Yeah, yeah, I hate anxiety. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, I do know because I've I've meditated in the past. Um. I even did a meditation before I did my four-minute breath hold 
uh, I did a breathing meditation before I held my breath for four minutes underwater. I've got the video somewhere on YouTube. <laughs> it was in a public pool and then they created a new rule because of me. No, no static apnea in the pool. And then I and then I'd come back to the pool and I figured, well, dynamic apnea is okay. Uh, dynamic apnea is, is, is where you hold your breath but you swim underwater back and forth. And when I started doing that, they made another rule. No dynamic apnea in the pool. So, <laughs> yeah, four minutes. It was like four minutes, three seconds. <laughs> so they made up all these rules because of me. <laughs> oh. But um, uh, thankfully I never got in trouble for the steam room because I'd go into the steam room and I'd try to push my limits and see how long I can I can bear the steam room. And uh the longest I was in the steam room for was like half an hour, I think it was. Um, so, <laughs> they, they have a little sign there that says 10 minutes only. But, uh, yeah, I've been in there for 30 minutes straight on the... DM me on Twitter, I'll send you a quick five meditation process. Yeah, I'm going to have to make... Oh, look at that. I wasn't following you, but I am now. Oh, you have a recent scope too, I see. That is awesome. I'm going to check that out. What did you scope about? Your Twitter name's the same, same name as... Um... Oh, just a short scope, eh? Oh, sunset. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that. Oh, I, yeah, so on Twitter I just look be looking for Sadi for sure, right? Yeah, Sadi for sure. So it's not like Sadi for sure, it's like Sadi for sure. Or Violet Musing. Okay, you're giving me too many names here. I'm going to get all confused. <laughs> My memory is not the best. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I got it. For sure, for sure, yeah. You know, someone learning English for the first time wouldn't be able to distinct the difference between fur and for. You know, even though we can hear it, right? Fur and for. You know, but fur sort of has a F-U-R sound too, right? But it's sort of the same sound with the E too, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the subtleties of language. Yeah. So. So, yeah. That's, uh, I found out some news about my wife yesterday. And, and uh, I'm not going to go into detail about it because she doesn't want me to share it. But it's it's made me a little anxious eh so it's not it's not life changing but you know so i've just been trying to uh get used to that yeah everything is okay you know she's uh she's she's watching her scopes and uh you know, could be a lot worse. I mean, there was, there was times when she was like in the hospital for a week and those were really hard. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was really hard when she, when she was in the hospital for like a whole week, you know, um, <laughs> I didn't like that at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well that that happened about about a year ago. So 
she just had to make a, a minor life change but it could be temporary too so gotta focus on the positives gotta stay positive right I gotta get used to thinking more positive yeah yeah it is it's 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 really hard yeah yeah for sure it's all in the divine timing of things yeah do you do you believe in God Sadi the universe's hands You're where you're supposed to be. All of us. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Not so much a, a Christian God or Islamic God or any kind of God like that, but um, more like a generic God. If... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like a, like a no-name god. <laughs> President's choice god. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making fun of that, right? Because well, a lot of our groceries we buy is from Superstore and they're like President's Choice, which is a gener generic brand. And I'm just thinking, what if there was a G President's Choice god, you know? <laughs> Please say hi to my friend Hoy. Hey Hoy, how are you doing? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> yeah, generic God. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I had um, a couple days ago. I had coffee with uh, with. Uh, two people on Periscope uh, that happened to live in my city so that was really cool uh, the first guy that I met before in person was Nolan and then um, and then I had uh, coffee with pastor TJ um, who's a pastor so so we ended up talking about God for about three hours which was no, not Satan. No, Sa Satan is just a guy who plays the character of Satan on on Periscope. It's like it's like dark humor, but it's not really evil. Like it's like dark comedy, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, he is awesome. I've been on a show a couple times. Um yeah, we talked a little bit about religion and uh we mostly talked about 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 uh about God and uh uh the prime mover arguments. You know, because basically you have a universe from nothing, you know. And what do I think about the Ukraine? I'm okay with the Ukraine. I don't see any problem with it. I'm not too educated on the Ukraine, so. Um, so yeah, like, and the philosophy goes as follows. The argument goes as follows, right? You know, so if you have a universe and it came from nothing, you got something from nothing, then something had to create it. And if it had to be created, then it had to have a creator, creator God. Pretty simple argument, really. And um, so, yes, because how do you how do you explain something out of time and space? You know, because there was no time and space before the Big Bang. Time and space came with the Big Bang. So. <laughs> It's, it also follows this idea that everything has to have a beginning. That uh, nothing, no system,
can exist forever, eternally. And uh, physicists have tried to find models, theoretical models of universes that could last forever with an eternal past, and they haven't been able to find one. Mm. You know, like in their, their fancy math work. The ultimate conclusion is everything ought to have a beginning. So, and and really, really the the the, the question is, why should anything exist? Right. I mean, why? It's it, it's it's much easier. Uh, universal energy to how it's always been, and yeah, I would I would contribute that universal energy to God. You know. Um, that's the only thing that that can really function outside of time and space. But in uh, in the most uh, common sense of thinking, it would be far easier to imagine a place of nothing, no time, no space, nothing. I mean, for why should there be anything? right uh, so so yeah um, the only difference between that and science is science just says well we don't know I mean that's basically what science says uh. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other arguments too. You know, there's the fine tuning of the universe, which is so improbable. You know, it's like the odds of our universe being so finely tuned for life is like one over a trillion, 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 trillion. It's, it's either that we're so incredibly lucky or there's an intelligence behind the design you know because I don't believe I'm that lucky you know um, <laughs> I mean if I overcame luck like that I mean I should I should easily be able to win the lottery and the theory that our reality is not reality we're all just players in a movie yeah philosophers talk about that You know, philosoph philosophers talk about how when 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 people age, as people get older and they go into their more senior years, uh, they start looking back at their lives and they they get a sense that they they were they were a character in a script that that they were part of a a, a bigger story and they were merely the characters of that story. You know, and, 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 and philosophers have, 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 have touched on this idea. And, and, and they, do, they do talk about, they do talk about such ideas. Astro, hey buddy, how are you doing? Thanks for the green hearts. Gotta love green hearts. <laughs> Minty hearts. Oh, it was successful it was very successful and now I've got treadmill downstairs that's like super accurate uh, simplistic way to explain yeah I don't know if we can explain it you know um, oh yes that's right yeah I moved to two treadmills uh, that was the day before yesterday and everything went without a hitch so so it was really good because I I had to meet with cough and still won't use them <laughs> I'm gonna use them yeah I'm definitely gonna use them um, actually the the um, 
the treadmill I have now, um, <laughs> now you're giving me a hard time. Let me guess tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, very well. By by tomorrow could be my first day on them. Yeah. Um, I had I e even though this treadmill I have now, which used to be my mom's boyfriend's, because he gave it to me, when it was over at their place, seven miles away, in in the East End, I used their treadmill a lot more often than he did. And 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 the treadmill was sitting in his house. You know, so. So he figured, he figured, well, Daryl, he, he said to me, he said, you, you use these treadmills all the time whenever you come over and that would totally screw me up mentally. <laughs> yeah, well, husband, I mean, they are married, so yeah, husband, my mom's husband, my stepdad, um, However you want to put it. Yeah. But, uh, you get to ask uh, your stepdad for $20? Oh. Not very often. Oh, you've got a step, uh, you got a treadmill too, eh, Sadi? Cool. <laughs> you got to step on yours, eh? My friend John says they're very expensive clothes hangers. Because <laughs> people usually buy them and use them for the first month and then they, they're left to hang clothes with. <laughs> if I call them Papa? Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, exactly, a wardrobe hanger. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <Come on. laughs> Papa, can I get $20? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't really need $20, but... Uh... I'm supposed to do it every day. Maybe you're pushing yourself too hard, Sadie. Oh, you had a heart attack. I had no idea. I'm so sorry to hear that. doctor says you have to. You have to go on the treadmill, eh? All good, I survived. And wasn't supposed to. How, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh yeah, like a prescription. Yeah. Okay, okay. 45, you're 47. So you're older than I am because I'm 41. Yeah. Um, I finished it early. 100% block in my right coronary artery. Oh, wow. <laughs> older than everyone on Periscope. Yeah. Um, so what do they want you to reach? Like just your aerobic zone? Like between 70 and 80% of, of, of your uh, maximum heart rate? Or, or do they want, want you to settle for, for a lower li limit, like 60 to 70%? Because... Uh, yeah, some some people start off training too hard, eh? 
Oh, okay, around 140 beats per minute. Okay, so yeah, I think that's touching on aerobic zone. So yeah, I could tell you if I had a calculator. Um, I think I do. Let's see. Yeah, because they're probably doing that 220 formula for you, I would bet. Um, let me quick, let me quick, quickly uh, uh, figure it out here. Where's my calculator? Um, oh, here it is. Okay. So, um, 220 minus. 45, okay, 175 divided by 1, oh, okay, 140, 40 divided by 175, yeah, so you're, you're, a, you're aerobic zone, yeah, because that's like 80%, <clears throat> Yeah, 140 is not it's it's not too hard to get to get into the aerobic zone. You know, um they say as long as you can carry a conversation, uh you can go into the aerobic zone and still c carry a conversation with somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. Well, she's 45, so It'd be about 80% of her maximum heart rate. But yeah, 30 minutes a day. Yeah, that's not that's not too long. You can do it. We'll both get on the treadmill, Sadie. I'll get on and, and you'll get on and uh, we can compare notes. I'm not motivated some days. Blab while we are on the treadmill. <laughs> I tried that one time. Nobody stuck around after the after the first 15 minutes, nobody stuck around. Everybody left me and then I was by myself for the next 45 minutes. But my my treadmill has a little monitor on it. Not if all of us are doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> you taking a, a nap, love? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Oh. Well, I sleep before I have to take a shower and then we'll go to dinner. We all get on the treadmill at the same time and blab with each other. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Actually, what I want to get is I want to get a long piece of tube that, uh, oh, Sadie says hi. Hello. That I can use as a, a, a long straw because I've got this four liter thing of water. And when I'm running, it's, it's hard to pull it up and, and drink out of it properly while I'm running at the same time. But if I had a straw, I could just stick it in my mouth, you know? Yeah, I told you that Astro said hi two days ago, right? Yes. Yes, I did, Astro. I'm good like that. <sighs> Yuppers. Oh. <laughs> uh. So I guess so much for cutting the grass.